Hey guys, welcome back to the Fatal Wrath channel. This is a surprise video that I'm releasing in celebration of reaching 500 subs on my YouTube channel. And I just want to thank you guys for the support and for subscribing to it. So what I'm doing for you is I'm going to show you how to hack the TMNT Legends game. Now, usually in here, we let the music run, but in order to get this done, I'm going to have to go somewhere in the game where the music will not play. So I apologize in advance for any background noise that you hear, but I'm going to try to have as little background noise as possible so that you can just focus on what I have to say and see how to do this. You ready to get into this? Let's go. The first thing that you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go up here to where your level is on your profile. And you're going to want to click on help and support. This is a part where the music's going to go away. Alright, so now we got complete silence. Where well, you're going to want to go, and this is probably mostly for Android devices, so if you're using Apple, I can't really help you. But if you're on Android, or you're on your PC, this is what you do. You click in this little message window in the upper right hand corner all right it's going to leave you with the message welcome to jam city support leave your message provide as many details as possible regarding your issue or request you are going to need your support key for this one usually it's found on the loading screen in the bottom right hand corner all right so I have my support key and we're gonna kinda do a little bit of a walkthrough here on what to tell them so that we can get what we need to get ahead on this game so Let me bring up one of the things that I'm going to use to get what I need done to complete this. All right. So here's what we're going to do. You know those tap joy offers? We're going to utilize those offers and we're going to get what we need here. So we're going to put into the message here. Alright. I'm just going to follow along while I put the message here that we're going to send them. Oops. Sometimes you hit the wrong thing. All right. Just kind of bear with me while I t 
type this out as I have all this written down on how we're doing this here. going to throw a random date in here. So that is basically the gist of our message. Now you're going to also want to tell them your support key. Remember on that loading screen I told you about in the lower right hand corner? Otherwise what they're going to do is they're going to ask for that first and it's going to delay the message. Alright so this is a message that we're going to want to send them. And then all you do is just hit send. And then they're going to come up with an automated message. What you're going to want to click on is, no, I need to talk to someone. And let's see. have it written down on which one to select when it comes up with this. Oh yes. This one right here. Bought currency. Items didn't receive them. And then they're going to give this message right here. and then we're going to wait All right. so with that wait you just wait until they get back to you on uh, what they're going to do for the message that you sent them for the tap joy offer and then you'll get that resource and you can use it to get mutagen get pizza anything else that you need to level up your characters and advance yourself pretty quick in this game after that you can go ahead and back out go back to the game and now we have our music back Some things that I just want to share here, because um, I don't have access to it from what I had before. 
Um, when I first sent this through, sometimes they'll want more information, like the email that you use to contact TapJoy, their ticket number, the name of the reward, the date that you should have received the reward, and tap Joy's message so they can credit you with the reward. Basically, what I said back to them was I said tap Joy did not message me. I use such and such email to contact them so you could use basically your own personal email. Um, I said the name of the offer and what it was and what they credited for. And I said it was to be sent within three days. And since they never responded to me, I basically deserve the compensation. And then sometime later on after that, down the road, they contacted me again. And they gave me the greenbacks that I requested. Um, with this other situation that I just sent you... Um, about needing to talk to someone and that you bought currency and didn't receive them after the time passed they sent a message and they uh, added the greenbacks to the inventory and I was able to get it and utilize it and basically I've utilized over a hundred thousand greenbacks and I've been able to buy a lot of mutagen and I've been able to advance my characters. You just go under the roster here real quick. You can see how high up my characters are here with the level. And how many I've been able to do. Um, this is not to get platinum shards. I wish it was. But the mutagen helps. The pizza helps. You know, you can get your cheesicles. You could get your warp passes you could get your tickets you could get pizza slices and this really helps in advancing your game and letting you play for a while and uh, can get your characters abilities up there pretty fast See how a lot of my characters are the 6 out of 6, or 6 out of 7 now I guess because of the Platinum. You just gain more mutagen you get there. It's just a little bit of an example there. Alright. So one last thing I want to mention before I close out this video. Um, actually, the whole thing about the hack is honestly just clickbait. <laughs> this isn't really hacking the game. But it is a way that I found out to get resources within the game because of how much greenbacks they give you when you tell them about a tap joy offer that you were supposed to get and that you did not get so then they will credit you for the tap joy offer and uh, you'll be able to use it on mutagen and other things so it's basically them handing out free resources not necessarily a hack I don't really support hacking I don't really know how to do it and every time I've tried to see how it's done it hasn't worked out for me so I don't know what these hacking videos are trying to prove or what they're doing but I can't get it to function and work in the game but what I have been able to do is get resources to help me advance my characters in the game. And this is Ludia Jam City Support handing out free resources. And 
I mean, if they don't really look into this too much and they're willing to give you free resources so you can advance quickly in the game, I say go for it because they should be looking into this more than what they do. And they don't. But do this at your own risk, guys. Because Ludia could lock out the account. The fact that it hasn't happened yet is crazy. And also be patient because they may not get back to you right away about this. It could take a few days, maybe a week, maybe more. But give it a try if you like, at your own risk. If it works out for you, if it gets you resources, you know what? Good job. Alright? Sounds great, right? Anyway, that was a surprise video for 500 subs. I appreciate your support. More content to come. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And turn on notifications. Stay alert. Check out the other uh, rest of the playlist for TMNT Legends that I have on my channel. And check out other gaming content on my channel. And tune in on the live streams and everything. Alright. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.